Teen Poetry Out Loud School competition. I would like to thank our judges for being here today, Doreen Parsons, Brian Brown, and Sharon Bowling. Um, they're uh, two from Mocha Community College, and then Sharon is one of our um, former teachers. So thank you very much for um, taking your time out of your day to come and judge our Poetry Out Loud contest. Uh, we've got 14 students competing today. We'll compete in two rounds. Um, Without further ado, I think we're ready to just get things going. We'll start with Adrienne LeBay. Hello, my name is Adrienne LeBay, and my first poem is Anthem for Doomed Youth by Wilfred Owen. What passing bells for these who die as cattle? Only the monstrous anger of the guns, only the stuttering rifles' rapid rattle can patter out their hasty orisons. No mockeries now for them, no prayers nor bells, nor any voice of mourning save the choirs, the shrill, demented choirs of wailing shells, and bugles calling for them from sad shires. What candles may be held to speed them all? Not in the hands of boys, but in their eyes shall shine the holy glimmers of goodbyes. The pallor of girls' brows shall be their pal, their flowers the tenderness of patient minds, and each slow dusk a drawing down of lines. Our next performer today will be Victoria Drolger. All hallows eve, my dear Theotian, be perfect, make it otherwise. Yesterday it was torn in shreds, lightning's thousand sulfur eyes, took the park of the bleeding beds. Their bones crack and pulverize, doom for sin on rubber shreds. Countless over our housewives, minds are raveling with threads. Trellics to chase to tranquilize, years of age and general dreads. Sit tight, be perfect, spot the spies, don't take faucets for fountain heads. Drink tasty antidotes otherwise, you and the horrible newly weds. Alright, our next performer will be Chesney Latta. A Boat Beneath the Sunny Sky by Lewis Carroll. A boat beneath a sunny sky, lingering onward, dreamily, in an evening of July. Children three that nestle near, eager eye and willing ear, pleased a simple tale to hear. Long has paled that sunny sky, echoes fade, and memories die. Autumn frosts have slain July. Still she haunts me, phantom-wise, Alice moving under skies never seen by waking eyes. Children yet, the tale to hear, eager eye and willing ear, lovingly shall nestle near. In a wonderland they lie, dreaming as the days go by, dreaming as the summers die, ever drifting down the stream, lingering in the golden flame. Life. What is it but a dream? Our next performer will be Ethan Graff. War Widow by Chris Avenue. The telephone never rings. Still, you pick it up, smile into the static, the breath of those you've loved, long day, long dead. The leaf you pick from the fall rises and dips with every ridge, fingers stiff from time you trace. Staring off into a distance, limbed by cataracts, and other collected debris. You have forgotten none of the long ago joys of an ice cream truck and its summer song. Between the paving stones, between tea, a cup, and the sound of you pouring, between the time you woke that morning and the time when the letter came, the tired sorrow, like an old flagellant, you will only to tease with a weak sting. Riding the elevator all day, floor after floor after floor, each stop some small victory, Whittled from the hard stone of death, you smile. You used to write epics about moments like this. All right, our next performer will be Brianna Hazen. Enemies by Wendell Berry. If you are not to become a monster, you must care what they think. If you care what they think, how will you not hate them and so become a monster of the opposite kind? From the, where then is love to come? Love for your enemy, that is the way of liberty from forgiveness. Forgiven, they go free of you and you of them. They are to you as sunlight on a green branch. 
You must not think of them again, except as monsters like yourself, pitiable because unforgiving. Thank you. Our last performer for the first round will be Chastity San Diego. Genetics by Jacqueline Woodson. My mother has a gap between her two front teeth. So does Daddy Gunner. Each child in this family has the same space connecting us. Our baby brother Roman was born pale as dust. His soft brown curls and eyelashes stop people on the streets. Whose angel child is this, they want to know. When I say my brother, the people wear doubt thick as a cape until we smile and the cape falls. The Ocean by Nathaniel Hawthorne. The ocean has its silent caves, deep, quiet, and alone. Though there be fury on the waves, beneath them there is none. The awful spirits of the deep hold their communion there, and there are those for whom we weep, the young, the bright, the fair. Calmly the wearied seamen rest, beneath their own blue sea. The ocean solitudes are blessed, for there is purity. The earth has guilt, the earth has care. Unquiet are its graves. But peaceful sleep is ever there, beneath the dark blue waves. Hello. All right, our next performer will be Nina Marie Wright. Invictus by William Ernest Henley. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I think whatever gods may be, my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody, but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears blooms but the horror of the shade. And yet the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate have charged with punishments the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Now, welcome to the second uh, round of Poetry Out Loud to 2019 at Pacific High School. Uh, we will start with our first pre presenter for the second round, Adrian LeBay. Hello, my name is Adrian LeBay, and I will be reciting uh, Acquainted with the Night by Robert Frost. I have been one acquainted with the night. I have walked out in rain, and back in rain. I have but walked the farthest city light. I have looked down the saddest city lane. I have passed by the watchman on his beat, and dropped my eyes, unwilling to explain. I have stood still and stopped the sound of feet, when an interrupted cry came over houses from another street. And not to call me back or say goodbye. And further still, at an unearthly height, one luminary clock against the sky proclaimed the time was neither wrong nor right. I have been one acquainted with the night. Thank you. Our next performance will be by Victoria Drillinger. April Love by Anna Johnson. We have walked in love's land a little way. We have learned his lesson a little while. And shall we not part at the end of the day with a sigh, a smile? A little while in the shine of the sun, we were twined together. Joy lips forgot how the shadows fall when the day is done, when love is not. We have made no vows, but will none be broke. Our love was as free as the wind on the hill. There was no word me wish and spoke. We are brought no ill. So shall we not part at the end of the day? Who have loved and lingered a little while. Join lips for the last time go away with a sad smile. Our next performance will be by Ethan Graff. Back up quick, they're hippies by Lanny O'Hanlon. That was the year we drove into the commune in Cornwall. Jesus, Jim, name said. Back up quick, they're hippies. Through the car window, tents, row after row, flaps open, 
long-haired men and women curled around each other like babies. And the babies themselves wandered naked across the grass. I reached for the handle, ready almost to open the door, drop out and away from my sister's aggressive thighs, daddy's slapping hands. Back home in the dandelion market, I unlearned the steps my mother taught, about a headband, an afghan coat, a fringed skirt, feather skin. Barefoot on common grass, I weigh down with kin. Our next performance will be by Chesney Lab. It was not death, for I stood up, 355, by Emily Dickinson. It was not death, for I stood up, and all the dead lie down. It was not night, for all the bells put out their tongues for noon. It was not frost, for on my flesh I felt sewer ghosts crawl, nor fire, for just my marble feet could keep a chance of cool. And yet, it tasted like them all. The figures I've seen, set orderly for burial, reminded me of mine, as if my life was shaven and fitted to a frame and could not breathe without a key. And twas midnight, some, when everything that ticked has stopped and space stares all around, or grisly frogs, first autumn morns, repeal the beating ground. But most, like chaos, Stopless, cool, without a chance or spar, or even a report of land to justify despair. Our next performance will be by Nina Marie Wright. Refusing Silence by Tess Gallagher. <clears throat> Heartbeat trembling through kingdom of leaves near the ceremony of water. I never insisted on you. I admit I delay. I was the empress of life. Our next performer will be Sean Griffin. A Birthday by Christina Rossetti. My heart is like a singing bird whose nest is in a water chew. My heart is like an apple tree whose boughs are bent with thick set fruit. My heart is like a rainbow shell that paddles through a halcyon sea. My heart is gladder than all of these because my love is come to me. Raise me a dais of silk and down. Hang it with bare and purple dyes. Carve it in doves and pomegranates, and peacocks with a hundred eyes. Work it in gold and silver grapes, with leaves and silver fleur de lis. Because the birthday of my life is come. My love is come to me. Our next presenter will be Thomas Wyman. The Emperor of Ice Cream by Wallace Stevens. Call the roller of big cigars, the muscular one, and bid him whip in kitchen cups, concupiscent curds, and let the winches dawdle in such dress as they are used to wear, and let the boys bring flowers in last month's newspapers. Let be the finale of scene. The only emperor is the emperor of ice cream. Take from the dresser of deal, lacking the three glass knobs, that sheet on which she embroidered fantails once, spread it so as to cover her face. And if her horny feet protrude, they come to show how cold she is, and dumb. But the lamp affix its beam, the only emperor is the emperor of ice cream. All right, our next performer today will be Kylan Rodewald. Auto Lullaby by Franz Wright. Think of a sheep knitting a sweater. Think of your life getting better and better. Think of your cat asleep in a tree. Think of that spot where you once skinned your knee. Think of a bird that stands in your palm. Try to remember the 21st Psalm. Think of a big pink horse galloping south. Think of a fly and close your mouth. If you feel thirsty, then drink from your cup. The birds will keep singing until they wake up. Our next performer today will be Krista Henning. Across the Bay by Donald Davy. A queer thing about those waters. There are no birds there, or hardly any. I do not remember missing them or thinking it uncanny. The beach, so called, was a blinding splinter of marble stone, quarry outraged by holes. We took pleasure in that. The emptiness, the hardness of the light, the silence, 
and the water stillness. But this was the setting for one of our murder scenes. This hurt and goes on hurting. The venomous soft jelly, the undersides. We could stand on the world if it were hard all over. Our next performer today is Connor Sandal. Song by Joanna Bailey. What voice is this, thou evening gale, and raises in raised voice of morning wail? And as it passes, sadly seems the faint, the faintful return of youthful dreams. Blythe was at once a youthful cheer, intrusive world, unmendably. Burial was no help. Next morning, I got up, and it did not. The first day after death. The absence is always the same. We should be careful of each other. We should be kind while well, there's still time. 2019 Poetry Out Loud uh, School Competition from McCook High School. Again, thank you to our judges, uh, Dorian Parsons, Brian Brown from MCC, McCook Community College, and Sharon Bowling. Thank you for spending your time and judging our poems today. Have a wonderful day. Okay. Why can't we be never? Okay, now. Now, coffee, everyone. Okay, so. How this works is we have a champion who will represent us at the next level, at the state level. What? Um, and the runner-up will represent us if the champion is not able to attend the state contest. Um, the next step would actually be there's workshops in Kearney, um, so the champion will let me know. I believe the runner-up can also attend, so I will figure that out for sure. But in any case, we actually have a tie for the runner up. So we have two runners up. Runners. Our, our runners. Runners up. You all get run, run ups. Run. Runners run, run away. Our Adrian LeBay. Woo! Congratulations. And I just want to make sure I'm not going to say that. Kylan Roderwald. Okay, so our champ, and I only have one thing. So I will give you later. And I only have one champion. Not champion. We'll take a picture of you. Yeah. All right. So our champion and representing the McCook next level will be 